In service since 2011, the 3.6 liter Chrysler Pentastar has powered more than 10 million of the most recognized vehicles on the road, including the Dodge Challenger, the Jeep Wrangler, and Ram 1500 pickup. By now, I think every technician knows there are problems with these designs. The engineers at Standard have assessed the weak points with these designs and created a completely assembled oil filter housing kit that includes multiple improvements over the original. These filter housings have looked the same since 2011, but the truth is there have been multiple generations with slight differences. As they have evolved, the vehicle manufacturer has used multiple oil pressure sensors, different oil filters with different flow rates, and the oil temperature sensor has been removed altogether from later model designs. To help provide your customer the right part with the right performance, Standard has designed and manufactured five different oil filter housing kits for these engines, with each one including OE matching sensors and oil filter with the correct flow rate. It's also important to remember, these aren't just oil filter houses, they're also oil coolers. And keeping the oil operating within the temperatures defined by the vehicle manufacturer is critical for performance and durability. Standard oil filter housings are made from a high temperature synthetic material that matches the heat dissipating characteristics of the original. Some aftermarket alternatives have deviated from this and used materials that can retain much more heat. Now, let's talk about how and where these housings fail and leak. Some think the high temp synthetic housings actually warp and that's what causes the leak, but that simply isn't true. Here are some of the areas where leaks start to form with age and miles. Look right here at the back of the unit. See these three circular plugs? These are core plugs that are inserted to seal off the oil passages. It's pretty common for these to start to leak. To solve this issue, Standard uses core plugs with actual O-rings and then ultrasonically welds them into the housing, creating a positive seal for years to come. There's also a core plug here, right on top of the unit below the heat exchanger. This is another place where Standard uses a seal before ultrasonically welding the core plug into place. You've probably seen these leak around the sensors as well. The problem isn't actually with the sensors, but with how the brass inserts for the sensors are pressed into the housing itself. After thousands of heat cycles, oil can begin to leak between the brass insert and the housing. To correct this problem, Standard revised the knurling of the brass insert and included O-rings on them. One O-ring on the temperature sensors and two O-rings on the oil pressure sensors where the leaks were more common. And because standard oil filter housings are completely assembled at the factory, you know the new installed sensors have been correctly torqued and installed in a clean, controlled environment. The OE housings also include multiple seals between the oil filter housing and the engine, which, over time, become distorted or crushed and then fail, causing an oil leak. The standard housing includes new, distortion-resistant seals made of a durable synthetic material designed to outlast the original, and they're already installed. To help make installation easier, standard even includes all new manifold gaskets. As so often happens with OE designs that just don't get the job done, the aftermarket has made efforts to solve the leaking problems common to the Pentastar oil filter housing, and standard's efforts have been successful. Improvements over the original design, correct filter and sensors, and comes to you completely assembled, that's what's in the standard box. What's in yours? Visit standardbrand.com for more information.